Hey guys, so I really hope that you had a wonderful day. Blessings, friends. And I really hope that you found hmm, peace, joy, love, happiness, whatever it was you were seeking. And I do hope you got home safely. I celebrated St. Patrick's Day in remembrance of my beautiful grandmother and her life and how her life crested and passed through mine. Pretty amazing how we do that for each other. And what kind of imprint do you want to leave behind for the world? It's one of my friends, and I think I may share the link, but you know what, you can just Google this actually. She had a cremation, how-to cremation link. Uh, what goes on behind the scenes, and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be morbid, do I wanna watch this? Ah. I did. You know, it, it was what I expected, and um, that's how we all end up, ladies and gentlemen, either in the ground or in somebody's closet in a box, or maybe even at sea. Uh, is there any other alternatives? I don't think so. I think that that's what we do now. So, what kind of impression do you want to leave behind? You know, nothing's immortal or eternal here on this planet. Things pass away. You know, there are so many people who don't even know who Betty Davis was. She was really a phenomenal actress. Uh, I'm not going to comment on who she was as a person. I didn't know her. I really don't have the right to comment. But as just as an actress, right? People don't even know who she is, okay? That died out really kind of with my generation. Or if you're a film lover, you would probably know no matter how old you are who she is. But do you understand? She was world-renowned famous. Even fame fades. And it fades quicker and quicker. We're cycling too quickly through everything. So yeah, I watched that. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? A little grim. But you know, it didn't hit me as hard as I thought it would. And here's the other thing. I did another video on my personal timeline and I'm gonna share it here. It's about destiny. And you know, when you have somebody who you know and love pass on, how can you not help think about your own destiny and that interchangeable moment where you go from this world into the next? And what is the next world? Well, if you're a believer, you believe in the hereafter, you believe in heaven, you believe in hell, too. You don't have to believe in that. I'm not going to tell you one way or another what to believe. I like what I believe, and I hope you like what you believe. <laughs> but you know where I'm coming from. So, uh, people who I know and love and who know and love the Lord like I do, this message is going to be for you. And for those who are contemplating it, this message may be for you too. What is your destiny? I guess this is like part two. But guys, I also want you to know something. You are very special and you matter and you are very important. And I'm going to help you turn all of your tragedies into triumphs and make something out of your life and make all of that mean something. It doesn't mean you get to take my stories and turn them into your own. I've caught a few people doing that and they are being sued and I can't wait. I know it sounds mean, but you know what? What's meaner? Somebody stealing my stuff and trying to make money off of it. I have people stealing my stuff and they made their own curriculum on it and they think that my videos were deleted and they weren't. Mm-hmm. Don't think I didn't figure that one out. <laughs> I'm like, that's sick. Anyway, uh, you know, I don't do the narcissist, uh, and I don't play the empath. I don't do that triangulation, and my attorney will be contacting you, and we're done. Mm -hmm. You're going to see my balls come out now. I really, I, I'm so sweet and so nice, and then there's weird twisted stuff going on, and I've learned quicker have less tolerance and to cut people off quicker and sooner and to say I ain't doing this crap go away you thief go away you liar go away you whatever you are go away you user you guys you got to do that because you know what what is your destiny going to be your destiny is all of these things combined the people you keep company with 
the people that you choose not to keep company with, the crap you don't take, you know, life is too short, don't tolerate it, I'm not tolerating it, I think these people thought I would tolerate it because they see my videos and they're like, oh my gosh, she's so nice, she's so easy, she's going to be an easy one to manipulate, wrong, again, I've only given one human being more grace and latitude than anybody else and it will never happen again you know why because God's not telling me to let other people have that same grace and latitude especially if it's costing me money and time oh my attorney is just so loving this <laughs> he too said enjoy it and I'm like yeah I will I will laugh all the way to the bank guys do you realize copyright infringement is imprisonment and or and or $250,000 fine ridiculous isn't it but that's what I have coming to me and for me because you guys decided that you thought what I had was so good that you wanted it lust it's sick it's sin don't do it you will wind up in the gutter because you know what? You will get brazen. You take it from one person, oh, they didn't say anything, they didn't do anything, and it'll lead you to the next person, and you steal from the other person. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. That's how it works until you're in the gutter with nothing. And you're better off dealing with me than God, because God will not show any mercy. Not that I show mercy either anymore. I'm done. <laughs> I'm so done with it. Like I said, I did it for one human being. And that will never happen again. Never happen again. Why? Because God told me, show this one human being mercy. Only. And only for a certain amount of latitude. I'm like, I can do that. I can do that because I love God. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, all of this, I hope you did have a really good, really good weekend. And like I said, I, I'm really just enjoying everything. I can't take anything too seriously. I really can't anymore. I pay people to take things seriously for me on my behalf. I'm like, that's fine. Not my job. That's why I pay them the big bucks, right? <laughs> So anyway, um, some people are going to get to know my attorney's dark side. He is ruthless. All I got to do is say, go. And he listens to me. You got to love that. There's no skin off my nose. Wow. I don't know. Some people are that deluded. Really, some people are that deluded. Guys. You see how I roll, roll with the punches? Just roll with the punches. Actually, better yet, deflect. Let these people do themselves in. The bad guys will always do themselves in. It never fails. They will get to the end of themselves. Because evil can't win. Evil never wins. Evil will either do itself in, or other evil will do itself do it in for it. Does that make sense? <sighs> Live in peace. It's so much easier. It's so much nicer. I like it. It doesn't mean that my walls are down. My guard is so up. I'm actually very good at this stuff. People don't tend to think that I am. And I'm like, you've got another thing coming. And then they all say the same thing. I never saw that in you. That's the whole point. That's how good I am at it. Nobody sees it in me. Until they have to see it in me. Yeah. Let's put it this way. You know when somebody screws around with mama bear's cubs? I make mama bear look like a cuddly teddy bear. I have to say that. Isn't that it's just so intense? But it's true. Why should I be nice 
and loving to somebody stealing from me or somebody trying to do anything that's sinful or nasty to me. I don't have to. I really don't have to. And the glory of it is I can have my attorney do everything for me. That much I love. That's pretty amazing too. Oh guys, you know, I warn people, oh my gosh, did I warn people, but they don't listen. What posture am I going to take? Don't tempt me. Don't even. <laughs> but really, I, I found three people now, three people who took the same bit of stuff that I put out there. I'm like, wow, that bait was just gobbled up. And I'm like, what on earth? And it wasn't even my best stuff. It wasn't even that good. It's sin, I'm telling you. If you guys don't think that the evil one is real and exists, I'm telling you, I see it all the time. It's proof right there. Thank you. So, you know, be careful, guys. Thank you to my followers again. You're my eyes behind my head, around the corner and everything. And you will be well rewarded for it. Thank you. Yeah, we offer rewards for anybody that finds copyright infringement or, you know, people doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing. You know, anything illegal. Yeah, you get handsomely rewarded for that. As if it goes to trial and we win, that's how it goes. So I thank you so much. And uh, sometimes you just gotta be like that, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because this world is full of sin. This world is full of haters and people who just want so badly. You know, I'm talking about certain themes lately, and then I see all of a sudden everybody else who's been, you know, lifting stuff from my work. Oh, well, you're making a little too obvious, and they don't seem to care, and they're going to care. <laughs> oh my gosh, they must think I'm in my 20s or my 30s or something, real young and ignorant. I don't know what people are thinking. I don't know what people are thinking. I, I wish I did so I could just combat it before it even becomes like an issue, but I don't know. People are not thinking. Here's the thing. I kind of think it is very satanic. You know that pearl necklace example that I keep giving? That is so mine. Anybody steals that, you're going to go to the gu guillotine. <laughs> no joke. I, I am not screwing around. Um, that is what it is. It's got to be, you know, the bait here. You can have this. And then they're thinking they can get away. They're numbed, you know, the brain, the heart. And then they do these things. That's a crime of passion, too. Very premeditated. Well, crimes of passion are really not premeditated. Hmm. Let me think about this. No, crimes of passion are very impulsive. Something meditated is calculative. That's what it is. It's very calculated. Very emotional people. What do you guys think? Oh. It's just so weird. But you know what? It's helping my heart grow. I don't want to say calloused, but to the point where it... It doesn't uh, take me for a whirlwind. It really doesn't. I said this to somebody that it did. I wanted to see what they would do and say, as if I'm not savvy in what they're doing. And I'm like, got it. Meanwhile, I'm in my office and everything is being heard and seen by all that help me and work with me. And I'm like, did you guys hear that? You know, after the whole thing. And they're like, yeah.
yeah, they can't believe it. But it's good because, you know, when people need to call witnesses in and everybody signs in every day so I know who to send to my attorney and I'm like, these people are really asking for it. Oh my gosh. I'm never alone. I'm not alone now. I am never alone. Everything recorded <laughs> legally. You know, I, I don't understand why people don't understand this, that, that they think that I am so naive or unprepared. And the thing is, I come on here hoping that they will get it through their heads and be warned and understand I'm not the one you want to and they don't get it. And that's why I think it's Satan, because Satan's probably saying, no, it's okay, just screw with this one. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. Meanwhile, I am the worst person to screw with. Why do people take that chance? Guys, you're living in some weird dream. I know, my persona is very loving, very kind, very gentle. I am that, but I'm not stupid to the world. I'm not stupid to thieves. I'm not stupid to sin. You know, I'm not unprotected. I've been doing this professionally for years and I'm like, oh my gosh. But, you know, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. These people are going to have to care at some point. But just make examples out of them. Lovely. Lovely. And anybody that puts choreography of mine that has been stolen in their festivals or their shows, you're going to be held liable. I'm warning you because a lot of people I don't know, and I don't want you to get the brunt of things because, you know, I don't know you. Some people I do, but, you know, most people I really don't. And I'm like, you're going to be held responsible for that. Nobody's thinking, you know. Nobody's thinking. We have clauses in our contracts that protect us from that kind of Mickey Mouse stuff. We don't have anybody performing in our, in our concert, any of our shows, unless they sign our contracts. They're ironclad, too. They're tough. They're mean, <laughs> you know? But they're that way for a reason. Now, I'm not going to be held responsible for anything that goes down. Nobody related to the company, volunteers, you know, nobody, nobody. Guys, really, some people are going to have to be the ones in the center square stockades, embarrassed by the whole public to see, to get the point. It's really sad. Hey, hi, how are you? Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> So anyway, hi, I love that. You know I love that. I love the engagement and encouragement. That's fun. Um, so here's the thing, be fly. You know this song? Listen very carefully. You fill up my senses like night in the forest, like the mountains in springtime, like a walk in the rain. I think I, I think those are the words, right? Do you know the title of that song, Be Fly? Why do I think it's not over yet? Think about the title of that song. I know you know it now because I've posted it before. And you know who I'm referring to. I just heard some more things. Boy, do I need to talk to you. And this is what they're mostly afraid of. You and I are on the same side. Even if you were to jump up and down and tell me, I'm not on your side, I'm not on your side, I wouldn't believe you. Even if it was the truth, I don't care. I'm on your side. Uh, how, how are you? Hey, I'm fine. I think that's what you're saying. 
I'm doing great. Thank you. Thumbs up to you, dude. Okay, my bee fly friend. Do you like my singing? Oh, you do? Thank you. Let me see if I can remember more. Hold on a second. Like a storm in the desert. Like a sleepy blue ocean, you fill up my senses, come fill me again. I think that's how it goes. I love that song. Oh my gosh. I used to know how to play it on the guitar. I gotta bust out my acoustic again some night because it's been a while. I have a gift with that. Um, I don't really practice, but every time I pick it up, it was like I had 12 to 15 hours behind me practicing. I think it's just some supernatural gift I have with that guitar. I don't know what it is. I can't claim credit because really, um, it's just a thing. It's just a thing for me. I don't know. Do you have something like that too? Where you're just good at it where you were taught the basics and you just soared with it and you just kill it every time you draw or you sing or whatever it is you do. It's so hot. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. I really appreciate that. I, I love singing that. I also like trying to do the harmonies, which is tricky. So what I have to do is I have to hear the melody in my head and then I try to sing the sevenths, the seventh harmony in it, and it kind of bounces like this. If I were to draw it out on, um, like, music sheet, like, um, you know, it, I can't do it, but it looks like lines going across like that, like a graph, right? And that's what the music does for, for this harmony, the, the seventh. And it's so beautiful. I do it better when I have my guitar and I'm playing the chords, not necessarily that song, like I'm thinking of another song that I do know how to play, I don't, this song I really don't, I know a little bit on the guitar with this one, I know one of the riffs in it, I forget, <laughs> anyway, um, and that's not warmed up, when I'm warmed up, I can really, really wail, and, uh, I enjoy doing it. I don't know what it is. It's like a stress relief for me. And when I was, this is a true story, when I was at my sickest, the only thing I could do was sing. It was still very strong. My heart beated strong. My voice very strong. I have a very, very strong voice. People would never assume that of me because I'm usually very quiet and soft-spoken, gentle. And then it's just like, where'd you get those pipes? <laughs> No, I've got pipes, right, Bee Fly? You've heard me. Remember freedom? Did you story Bee Fly? Don't get mad. Do you know why do you know why I said that? No joke. One of the students in class, this is funny. It's funny. You won't be mad, it's funny. One of the students kind of I don't know. I don't even know what this person is anymore. Double dog dared me. Never do that because I will do it. <laughs> and my little brave heart moment there. There's a message for you too. Freedom, my friend. Freedom. You didn't think I had pipes like that, but you did. You told me. You know how that originated? Because you told me to speak up. Because I was being so soft-spoken. And you told me I needed to be louder. I wasn't being facetious or trying to rub it in. Somebody dared me to do that. They, <laughs> they go, I dare you. You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it. I was like, no, I'll do it. She wants me to be louder. I'll do it. 
I will be extremely loud that these walls will vibrate, and you'll feel it on the floor. And thus they did. I wasn't trying to be a smart aleck. I'm serious. I never really wasn't doing it towards you or anything. I was telling this person, you don't do that to me. You don't dare me to do something. But since then, I think you figured out that I had a powerful voice. I know I don't look like it. I know I don't look like it. Oh, Lord. But it's a beautiful story because I have told children this story. And they love it. And that's how I get them to practice when we're dancing. You know, when you let that come from your diaphragm, from your belly like that, it, it, it helps movement. It's a technique that I'm, I kind of like tapped into. It's really cool. God told me to come here in the middle of the night to just say whatever just like I'm doing. Nothing's planned here. Be fly. That song. What is it? What is going on? Last week and this week. For two weeks now. This is about the same time last year. I completely back way and got myself out of the whole, you know, it's all about love right now for you and for, you know, you know who. Hmm. I'm going off of spiritual discernment. I want to tell you something, Be Fly. I think you need me and I think you need my voice to tell you something. That song... I don't think it's over yet. And you're not to be afraid. Let the mess be a hot mess. Let all the pieces be all over the place. It's not your job to clean it up, except for our little personal storm thing, okay? We will clean up the mess together, but it's really God that's going to do it. And then he's going to work through us. Don't be scared by that, okay? Please just trust me on this. I don't even know what that means. Just trust me. Because there will come a day where I'll be saying, this is it. This is now. What I spoke then is now. And you know that I hear the word of God. That's been proven to you somehow. Some things that I've said on my videos and some things I've said to you, some things I've written, they have come to pass somehow and things have been made known to you. And there are some things that I knew and our son knew, he hears from God too. When I'm not being stupid and prideful, he hears better than I do. If it weren't for my age and experience, he would be even surpassing me in his humility. It's humility that allows us to hear God clearly. And stillness, you know, when we're still, we're in humility. So there's something, and I, I don't know, there's been several things that have proven, that have proven it to you. And I think it still kind of freaks you out. Here's the thing. It's still taking me a long time to accept my little spiritual gift things that I have. And they're not mine to own and to, like, push forth into power. That's up to God. Like, God can use me to prophesy. He can use it within me one time. I can't make it happen. You know, that's why I'm not into that clairvoyance thing, because that's of people, or, you know, this, this is just God saying, da, 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 and I'm like, oh, okay. Nothing really that magical or incredible, but it's incredible to me, because I'm like, why would you choose me? He's chosen many people. People, all of us have spiritual gifts. 
he fly. I know what your gifts are. Don't be afraid of them. And don't push away, because I've been pushing away for many years. I don't want to know the future. I don't want to speak this. I don't, but it, it's been overproven to me. And I think you're shying away from that, but you know what the truth is, so don't be afraid. Because I need to help you. Something is just telling me about these past two weeks. And I'll find out later. I always do. And you've seen it happen. I'll say a prayer. Sometimes it was on here on this timeline. And then you've seen it brought to fruition. Or like that thing, remember? I said and I confessed it. I don't go looking for these answers. I just pray. And then within one to three days, it comes here. And you heard and witnessed it. Remember in class, and then somebody came to me. And you, you got, not, you didn't get upset at me, but you got upset at that person, and rightfully so. I, I agree with you with that one. Um, but it proved my point. That's what I'm talking about. That I do hear God, and I do pray, and He answers my prayers. At this point, you know what? I do think that you think that God is real, and you're still kind of afraid. And that's okay. I will hold you and love on you through that. I know you're resisting, and I don't want to push it on you. <laughs> it's all good. It really is all good. But I marvel at the miracle that's at hand. Because while it's a hot mess, that's what God does. He lets things get really, really messy. And then he puts everything into perfect, proper order. Okay? Hmm. It's going to be beautiful. So you need to breathe. That's all I'm going to tell you. Don't try to figure it out because check this out. This storm, some of it you made, not blaming you, but some of it you made unintentionally. You have the power to stop this storm. Go watch Frozen. God's using that. That's so a map. Why? <laughs> God has used more ridiculous things than that before. So when the time is right, the pieces will be put back together. But this is not now. This is the time to let the mess keep unfolding. You know, like when you clean out your house, you clean out a closet, you gotta take all that crap out and you lay it all over the place, and you organize it, and then honey comes home, and they're like, what the heck is all this? I'm cleaning, I'm organizing, it's going to look great. And they're like, ah, mm -mm. disbelief ain't going to happen. But you know what? After I've seen the Lord open closets and clean out so many closets, I know he won't fail me. God is in the business of closet cleaning. He's cleaned my closet so many times, and he will rearrange it and put everything back. You watch. Mark my word. So right now we're just closet cleaning and he's using our hands to pull everything out and it's laying all over the floor. And when the time is right, things will be put in order and there will be perfect order. But then again, there will be another closet. It never ends. It's not over until we leave this earth. We are always gonna be closet cleaning anybody takes that you're going to be castrated <laughs> don't take my stuff all this is copyrighted the second I put something into existence this is mine, not yours it's mine, don't touch it the song belongs to John Denver <laughs> uh, I have license to actually sing songs and to cover them we pay a royalty every year, a licensing fee, so I'm covered, actually. I'm good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm good. Uh, I can actually do that now. <laughs> so funny. All right, guys. Um, be good, be sweet, be fly. This has been weird and very interesting. You need this, don't you?
What's going on still? I guess just because I removed myself from the situation didn't make the situation over and done with. There's a, a saying, you know how a dog returns to its own vomit? A dog, an animal, will throw up on the ground and will walk away, maybe even days later, maybe minutes later, they will go back to it. That's what's going on over there. That's back building, I guess. Behaving, going more deeper, more insidious. I, uh, I know God said, let me handle it. You did very well to me. He told me that. I did very well. Good job, faithful servant. You loved, you rebuked, you did what you had to when you had to. And he's proud of me. And I'm like, amen to that. I'm done. I'm done. My concern is you and one other. You know that. Other than that. I, I told them, you know that. I said, change your ways. Better off dealing with me, warning, right? Thank you. Better off dealing with me, warning, and taking the warning than me pulling myself out of the situation and then you're having to deal with the Almighty or the law or something and I, I have nothing to do with it. I'm, I'm removed, I'm done with that whole mess. But you know, Be Fly, you know I've warned. You have special protection if you're wondering, if you're concerned, if you're scared. You have special protection. God has has told me that. That was part of, I don't want to say it's a deal. You don't make deals with God, okay? He tells you what to do. You decide if you're going to be obedient or not. And then if you're not obedient to his command, then, you know, there's consequences to everything. And to me, there is no choice. I'm going to be obedient. But, you know, that was part of the deal. I'm going to say that because it's easier to understand, right? If you don't have that spiritual intuitiveness, intuition, right? It's the Holy Spirit, guys. So you're going to be protected. Trust in that. It's not in me that you're trusting in. It's the Almighty. You know you know what the truth is. You know what the spiritual truth is. You've seen it through me. I was sent. I was sent to testify that to you. All these other ones, they had an opportunity to be a beautiful fragrance to you, unto the Lord. And, you know, I don't doubt that they didn't minister, but they really failed you. I see how they failed you. And I see how they stabbed me in the back in the process and you see it too thank you um, don't give up do not give up stay the course be fly you are so close you're so close to redemption and vindication and don't think I don't know what in part what you went through they are not to be trusted I learned the hard way, but they are not to be trusted. And I am so proud of you because I realized last May how strong you really, really had to be all those years. You have more patience than I do. I wouldn't have tolerated that as long as you had. Mm -mm. I would have been long gone. And if it wasn't for my obedience to God, I would have been long gone too. But I'm like, no. God told me. That's how loved you are. That's how much I love you. That's how much he loves you. He loves you so much that he would send me in the state I was in when he sent me to you. It took a long time for me to figure that out, that I was sent. Commissioned. Assignment. Assignment given. Okay, I miss you. It snowed. I prayed for snow. It snowed. It's still snowing. All the places that I have beloveds in, it's been snowing. It's snowing. 
Next is to get us to snow here. I think that's the final climax. <laughs> we will watch this together someday and we will laugh because it will happen. Watch. <laughs> and we won't know what the heck is going on. Okay. But remember this ice and compression stop internal bleeding. What that has to do with anything in the snow, I don't know. God bless you, be fly. If you can figure that one out, all I know is to be obedient and say these things. You know, there are going to be some people who are going to come here, and this is why I don't say a lot of this stuff sometimes because I wonder if like, people are going to say, What planet is she flying to? What drug is she on? Not that on anything. I didn't drink this weekend. I didn't do anything. I had garlic. I had garlic an hour ago, and I had sparkling water. And my head is so clear. That's why I'm careful to say it. But at this point, I don't care anymore what people think. I'm like, you know what? God will take care of the mess. I do what he tells me. His job to clean up the mess. And sometimes he uses people and he'll use me to clean up the mess. But I'm just supposed to love on people and tell people this stuff. Because I've had people say, Noel, when you said that word, it was prophetic and it ministered to me. Go look at some of my older videos. You're going to have to go back quite a bit. And you'll see people like that really ministered to me and I didn't even know I was intending it for one person who I had in my heart and my mind be fly was probably for you and then God is so multifaceted he used it for many the dance right I say this this is my little motto the dance that was meant for one was soon and then meant for many red ribbons right that was for you. That was for you. Oh my gosh, I paid such a price for doing that. Oh. What, do you see the tapestry of my life? That can't be put together by anything else but God. Okay? One of my best friends says every time I'm on the phone with her, she's like, well, your life is like a soap opera. And I'm like, I'm not trying to do any of this. I'm just saying, send me. I said that when I was on my deathbed dying from cancer, and this is what I get, okay? <laughs> Lord, send me. Okay. What was that? Jeremiah? Ezekiel? It's in the book of one of those, right? So, you know, I guess this is better than death. I don't have a choice. This is where I am now. Send me. Lord, send me. Here I am. That song, right? What's the rest of it? I surrender, I surrender my life to the use of your plan. Here I am. I will do as you say. I will go where you send me. Uh, Rebecca St. James. Love that. You know, there's so many people who are watching my videos, and I'll watch theirs. This is, I gotta say this, because this... I, I, I have my own little trademark things that I do, the hearts, right? And I do this, sign out, right? And I have a certain cadence of how I talk. And then I changed it up a little bit. I just wanted to see something as an experiment. And then... I am so impressionable that people are starting to mimic that. I don't think they're making fun of me, and I don't even think they're realizing that they're doing that. But guys, who you were and your presence on your own live videos was good. Don't change that. You know, some of you have that polished, professional, but very laid-back feel, you know? Very thoughtful. I'm very animated. I'm such a dork. Don't, don't take on my attributes. Be careful if you watch my videos. Don't do that. I like you the way you were doing your thing. Because now I'm like, I don't want to watch me. <laughs> it's like, ah, of all things, I don't want to watch me. You know? And there, there's a handful of you. There's about four of you right now. They're doing that. I'm like, oh, no. Because what I liked when I was watching your videos was watching you. I like your personas. Your personas were great. They didn't need to be tweaked. But I, do, I just don't think it's on purpose. I just think that I'm just impressionable like that. So go back to how you were doing your stuff. I liked it because now I'm turned off because I, I don't really, I don't want to watch me. 
you know? I want to watch you. I want to watch you doing you. I don't want to watch you doing me. Go to you again. It's so beautiful. I like that. That's why I tuned in. Now I'm not tuning in because I'm like, they're just going to do me again. So I'm going to wait. So hopefully you'll hear this and you'll see this message and say, oh, I didn't even realize it. And guys, please, if you're not Christians, don't use the Christianese because you're using it wrong. <laughs> and I'm like, that's not what we mean. That's not what we mean when we say that jargon. And I'm like, they don't even realize it. I'm like, ah. Because what's going to happen inadvertently, you're going to offend the Christians that follow you. And they're going to say, uh-uh, that ain't right. Be careful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Be fly. Make sense of it. Take your notes. I know you take notes. Don't stop taking your notes. Journal. Keep doing it. Because we're going to need this someday. Yes, you and me. Don't think I don't see what's lying ahead. I used to get these um, these visions that were for four to five years ago, and then some that are have happened currently. And I'm getting visions for next year, and then the year after, and then some I think are 15 years from now even. And I know who's in these visions. So you're in them. You're going to have a very old lot of life. The second half of your life is going to be, and you don't even realize, I, I can't say, ah, hmm, that star, that beautiful star, remember what was inside of it now. Go dig that up. love that you can't even imagine remember all those things that I mm hmm you know that but I see incidences I see the moments that that's in that star I I didn't even know when I was doing that see that wasn't just a gift to say thank you Merry Christmas and all of that for me at the time it was I was so grateful and I was being gracious. That's how I was raised, right? Your teachers, you pay tribute. Your mentors, you pay tribute. That's one of the ways that I was taught by my Nana. And, uh, you know, my mom had class too. That's class, being classy. And, uh, you see, this is being illuminated to me in recent days. I didn't even know. I thought, oh, this is just to make, make you feel good. Something to say thank you. But that was a seed. That was that is prophetic. That's prophecy right there. And that put it in your hand. Hold that. That's powerful. That star contains prophecy. I'm telling you, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now, but I know the words I'm supposed to say. You and I will watch this video in the future together somehow. How is that possible? See, I don't even think that's possible. Just because somebody is used by God to prophesy, they might not know what the heck they're talking about. I don't. It's all about obedience. Faith is hearing the word of God and walking in the faith in obedience. That That's faith. It's not like, you know what, I want A to happen. I'm going to step out in faith and just do it. That's not faith. That's force. And don't anybody take that either. That's in my other book. Sorry, I get to be a snot now because I am done with these thieves. They think they're so smart. Ah, you make me want to hurl. I'm not going to waste my energy hurling on your behalf. So go talk to my attorney. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just can't handle it. It's just, it, it really is the most... One of the most disgusting things, and you know what, we all fall, fall short from the glory of God, but it's just like, after a while, it just, it's gotten on my nerves to the point where I'm just like, that's it, I am so repulsed by it, I can't even. And, you know, I'm a sinner saved by grace like everybody else. And I sin too. 
And I probably repulse other people with my sin. That's just how it goes. But that is just like, I, oof, I don't like it. All right, so there you go. Faith versus force. I'm leaving because people will probably start thinking that I am intoxicated. I'm not. Okay, love you guys. Be fly, I love you. I wish you could have gotten to know me while you were here. I think you would have enjoyed it. I think you would have enjoyed me and my company. You never gave me the chance. I tried. I really did. And, you know, when I wanted to talk to you, half the time it was for your benefit to tell you, you know what I heard down the hall here? And I was right. And I'm like, mm, it would have helped you. And if only I wasn't afraid, because I think you opened the door when I was leaving the little things with my hand when maybe we were afraid to open the door, whatever that meme was that I made. I think Jay put it up for me. I don't remember who, one of them. And um, I, I saw the door open. And then our son saw the door open. And I'm like, is this coincidence? Or should I actually, is this an invitation? And I get that you couldn't say, hey, let's talk. You know? And there had to be all this hint dropping. And I didn't even realize I was dropping a hint. And then I'm like, dawning on me, wait a minute. Maybe I was supposed to walk through that door and talk. See, I don't know. I'm still kind of dense with that. And then I'm like, oh, no, the door is closed. Is she mad now? You know, I was like, no, wait. And it was around this time last year. Two weeks. What's going on? Be fly don't give. God will make sure that you are protected. He will use me. His hand was on your life from the beginning, love. It really was. I just wish you could have gotten to know me when you were here. You never gave me the chance. Not your fault. I get it. I totally get it now looking back. But this is what I wanted to show you. This is what I wanted to do for you. This is how I wanted to love on you and help you. And I don't know what went wrong. And we don't have to dissect it. I just think a lot of things got in the way. I think satanic things got in the way. I think evil got in the way. Sometimes you got in the way, and sometimes I got in the way. We both got in the way. It just, it was, it was hard. There's so much more understanding than I have now. You know what? You've been gone for almost a year. I mean, I know you stayed longer, right? But I didn't see you. So for me, May, you know, it's hard. It's so hard, and I am really trying so hard to forgive you about you just leaving the way you did. I wished I was prepared for it. I would not have gone to New York if I knew. But I guess what I guess what God wanted me to do was go to New York. Something in that ministered to you? What? I really want to ask you and find out. What was it? Because it really, I had to go. And if I didn't go, if I didn't go, None of that would have happened. None of that beauty would have happened. And the timing and how, you know, who I'm talking of, right? How she helps so much. She knows, she, she doesn't know everything. But she had to know some to help me create that beautiful piece of artwork that you now have, right? She had to know a little bit of it. I had to share some. And she knows how much I love you. So how, how does the story incorporate her too? I mean, this is the majesty of God's story and his authorship. I mean, I have a little saying that I say, you know, 
Uh, you're the author of your life. You might as well write a bestseller. But really, God's the author. It just sounds more pithy and more we're in control when I put it that way, you know. And I have to talk to everybody, not just people who believe in Jesus and God, you know. So people feel better when I say that instead. But do you see all these pieces? And do you see all these clues? And it weaves, right, this beautiful tapestry. I don't have, where's my, oh, I'm not getting up to get it. My mom's blanket that I made for her. It's woven, crocheted woven, and it creates a beautiful tapestry. But that's what it is. It's like little breadcrumb clues along the way for our whole lives. And then at the end, you know, when we've arrived at a destination, we can see a portion of it. But it's not until the end, destiny, that we really see what it was meant to be. Pretty amazed balls, huh? Two weeks, the door being open, closed. There's a lot there. A lot there. Yeah, guys, don't get smart and think that you're going to steal this because I will rip you to shreds. Be afraid. I want people to be so afraid of me that they won't steal from me. But at the same time, I want them to be ministered to and blessed by my words. I have competitors that are kind of evilly minded that they, they wish that people would steal their work. And I'm like, no, you don't. Look at this crap I got to go through. You don't want people stealing your stuff. Your stuff is not that good. That's why you want that. You think that? I mean, that's, that's crazy thinking now. Crazy thinking. But the Holy Spirit gave me these words, not you. You meaning whoever's thinking about stealing my work. God has ultimate copyright. Anything that was stolen, he, he promised me this. He said, every single word of yours that has been stolen will be restored unto you. Well, I mean, yeah, because there's the law. There's our copyright. There's the videos. There's our witnesses. You know, be fly how I log things pretty ironclad I don't think anybody's gonna it's probably gonna be like 10 minute case very easy <laughs> hmm I know some people are gonna think this is cryptic you know what guys if you knew if you knew the backstory and someday you may then you'll understand but trust me on this it has to be cryptic be fly wait a minute here's something else too how long did you know, or how long did I know versus how long you knew about being watched? It's like all the pieces started being put together around the same time. I told you how I was threatened, right? Did I tell you about that? I'm laughing, but it's not too funny. <laughs> not too funny. I was threatened not to talk to you. But don't be afraid for me, because I got balls. You know that. We've got our end covered to no end. Unless there's something you know that I don't. But don't be afraid of them. They're just people. These people need to be afraid of God. <sighs> hey, you guys, remember when I was talking about all that earthquake stuff? Be fly, go look at it. Go look at it. Remember my dream. Go look at the earthquake dream. Don't think God doesn't have his hand on this. Your enemies are my enemies. And they will be dealt with in the same way. Don't give up hope. Because that is what's going to sustain and subsist any of us. Okay.
I gotta go. That's all I can say now. Bye.